Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Well, it's January 3rd, 2019, and you know what that means. We have a new Congress. So yeah, we are currently, we now are at Congress number 116, and ha, it's very, very interesting, if I do say so myself. So, let's start out with the new membership in the Senate. So, as you may already might already know or might not know or don't care um the senate still has a republican majority it's a slight majority but they still ha have a majority cuz only a third of the seats were up for up for grabs in the last election uh the membership is uh 52 republicans 45 democrats two independents, and one vacancy. However, the new uh, income, uh, the new incomer won't be taking their uh, seat until the 8th, which is on Tuesday, which will bump up the Republicans to 53. So, yeah. Uh, we have a new president pro tempore. It's uh, Senator Chuck Grazley from Iowa. And the uh, majority and minority leaders are still the same as the last Congress. The majority leader is Senator uh, Mitch McConnell from Kentucky. And the minority leader is obviously Chuck Schumer of New York. The House. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, so um, as you may have seen my uh, election result videos, you'll know exactly what I'm about to talk about. The House. Man, oh man. Um, however, not all 435 seats are filled because uh, there's an election dispute in, I believe, in Georgia still. That's, you know, still needs to be called. So, the new Congress has a Democratic majority. That's right. We have a split Congress, ladies and gentlemen. We now have 235 Democrats. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> uh, 199 Republicans, no independents. And as I said, there's a vacancy due to a uh, voting dispute or an election dispute in Georgia, I do believe. Also, since we have a new Congress, we have a new Speaker of the House. That's right, it's no longer Paul Ryan. It is Nancy Pelosi, Democrat from California's 12th Congressional District, and she was once Speaker before. She was actually speaker before uh, the most recent speaker from Ohio, John Boehner, took over, who in turn was before Paul Ryan. So she's speaker once again, which as of by the time she first took the speakership in, I want to say, uh, 2007, yep, I was right, 2007, which was six congresses ago. <laughs> She was the speaker for the 110th and 111th Congress from 2007 to 2011. And that's when John Boehner took over. And then he was speaker for three Congresses. Well, two and a half, I should say. And then Paul Ryan took over for the rest of his term and then was speaker for the last Congress. So now, Nancy Pelosi's in. And uh, we have a new my, uh, majority leader and minority leader. The majority leader, since the Democrats have the majority, is Steny Hoyer of Maryland's 5th Congressional District. Now, if you might know, 
he was the uh, minority whip of the last Congress. And the minority leader is, since it's, you know, the Republicans, uh, Kevin McCarthy from California's 23rd Congressional District. And he was the majority leader which for the last Congress, which obviously was the Republicans. When the Republicans controlled both houses of Congress in Trump's first two years. And um, I heard something earlier today that since, you know, Democrats now control the House, they were starting to draw articles of impeachment against President Trump. Which, let me just remind you all that if that did happen, it has to be, the House needs to agree with two-thirds of the majority. Which has to, which I believe has to be at least, uh, what is two thirds? That sixty eight percent, something like that. I don't know. But yeah, two thirds of the house needs to be in favor of at least one article of impeachment, and then that means the president would be impeached. Let me just remind everyone once more. That impeachment process against the president only happened twice. Well, actually, I guess technically three, but still actually happened twice. Because you got Andrew Johnson in, in 1868 and Bill Clinton in 1998. Yep. The third possible was Nixon, you know, due to Watergate, but he resigned before they can actually file up impeachment. So, yeah. And that's the new Congress. So, thank you for this update. Thank you for watching. Stay cool, stay tuned. More updates coming soon.